welcome back to another colorful keto with Dory. We are doing something completely different and awesome fun today. If you guys are new around here, you might not know that Headbangers Kitchen is my absolute favorite. I adore him and he was the first keto personality I reached out to. Yesterday, he posted a really cool new mug cake recipe that is lemon and thyme. We're gonna do a tribute recipe today and I'm gonna pick two flavors I wouldn't normally combine and make a mug cake for you guys. With inspiration from Headbangers Kitchen today, we're going to make a raspberry mint mug cake. I will also post his original recipe at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. First step we're gonna do is we're going to mash up some of our raspberries and we're gonna add some fresh mint to that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick off a few leaves, we're gonna roll them up and cut them into small pieces. Okay, add our fresh mint. Take a fork and we're just gonna mash that all up together. Add one tablespoon sweetener of your choice. I love allulose powdered sweetener, but use which sweetener you like to taste. Now we're ready to make our mug cake. We are going to use four tablespoons of walnut meal. One half teaspoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of MCT oil. One tablespoon of 14% sour cream. And one egg. Mix that all together good. This is what your batter should look like. We're going to split it into two ramekins. Give your ramekins a little spray. Divide our batter between the two ramekins. These go into the microwave for 90 seconds or in your oven at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. Our mug cakes are out of the microwave and while they're cooling, we're going to make a cream cheese glaze. Two tablespoons of cream cheese. I'm going to add one tablespoon of powdered allulose sweetener. Add two tablespoons of 33% heavy cream. Those two ingredients together first. Four drops of Loren Oils Cream De Mint Flavoring Extract. Give it all a good mix. I gave up. <laughs> I decided to use the mixer. Cream De Mint Cream Cheese Glaze. So let's spoon some of that onto the mug cake. Wouldn't fit the unicorn challenge if we didn't add some Sprinkle Company Unicorn Sprinkles on top. Add a raspberry and a nice sprig of mint. And that is what our raspberry mint unicorn mug cake looks like. Oh, I almost forgot. I didn't even show you guys what the cake tastes like. Let's get into this cake. Oh, and it's purple and sparkly. Mmm. Raspberry mint unicorn mug cake. Amazing. We're going to be making a delicious lemon and thyme keto mug cake and it's going to be delicious. 
and we're also going to make a cream cheese glaze to go with that so anyway enough jibba jabba from me let's get cooking so to make our mug cake we're going to take 25 grams of almond flour and to that i'm going to add one tablespoon of powdered erythritol then i'm going to add in one tablespoon of melted butter half a teaspoon of vanilla extract one tablespoon of full fat greek yogurt one whole egg about a teaspoon of lemon juice some lemon zest then i'm going to add in some thyme leaves and you don't want to add too many because this can be quite a strong flavor hey guys so i must confess i forgot to add baking powder to my mug cake so make sure you add some of that about a half a teaspoon will be fine anyway give that all a good mix then make sure you taste your batter for sweetness and flavor mine needed a little more time so i added a few more leaves in give it one final good mix and then the batter was ready so i poured out my batter into a ramekin because i just prefer making mug cakes in these rather than the mug and then you pop this in the microwave for about a minute or a minute and a half but i decided to bake my mug cake today so i put it in the oven and i made sure that i preheated my oven to 175 degrees celsius and this will take about 15 to 20 minutes Anyway after about 18 minutes my mug cake was ready and that looks pretty good already and now while our mug cake cools down i'm going to make the glaze so for the glaze i'm going to use 60 grams of cream cheese to that i'm going to add 60 ml of heavy whipping cream 1 tablespoon of erythritol a little bit of leftover lemon zest a little vanilla extract and then of course give it all a good mix And that's it. The glaze is ready. Now once the cake has cooled down, we're going to pour that glaze right over it. And of course, decorate it with a little fresh thyme. And oh yeah, that looks really good. I can't wait to taste it. But of course, I got to show you what that cake looks like. So, get a spoon out and well, get some of that cake, man, and put it in your mouth. Eat that cake. Anyway, enough jibba jabba. Time to taste. All right guys so it's time to taste this really delicious looking lemon and thyme mug cake and which is not made in a mug and the macros and all the calorie information and all my tips and tricks will all be on headbangerskitchen.com the direct link will be in the video description box or just below this video anyway enough jibba jabba time to taste oh oh that is lemony mm and there's that very subtle hint of thyme hmm oh and it's a rich cake guys like hmm yummy really good hmm i don't have anything to say you go you make you show you give feedback you comment below